Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the opening round of the 2024 Mad Dragon Six Nations Tournament. A huge game to get us kicked off today. France versus Ireland already deemed to be potentially the game for the tournament. Whichever one of these teams wins this game might go on to win the tournament itself. Both big favourites, both missing key players no Antoine Dupont in the French team this year we have Maxime Lucou filling in in scrum half as well as no Sexton in the Ireland jersey both teams got a lot to prove today as Jalibert will get us kicked off and underway to start out this tournament as the ball goes long out to Jordan Lama out on this wing Ireland managed to recover. Connor Murray has stepped in. Oh, it's a scrum half today in order just to have that bit of extra experience on the field. Ireland get a good turnover and Josh van der Fleer tries to run, but a loose pass and Jalibert picks up the loose ball. Suddenly France have expanded very wide out on this wing as Olivon pops it off to Damien Pernod running down the wing. I'm sure we'll be seeing that across this tournament. Shuffles up towards the five metre line. France want to go quickly. Jalon gets it out to Jalibert. Been everywhere, all over the pitch today already. But a good turnover by Ireland and Conor Murray just settling down the ship a little bit and getting that clearance kick just beyond the halfway line. What an exciting opening. Five minutes to the game. First line out of the game. Let's see how they get on. They go to the back. Easy take there for France as Ramos takes it up. Oh, and Jalibert working very well together. Gets absolutely clattered, though, by Hugo Keenan doing his job well in that fullback position as Fiku thinks there's room down on this wing and Lebel trying to run on the outside of Jordan Lama. Great recovery tackle, though, by the winger to get back to shut him down. He thought for all intents and purposes a try was coming there. Ireland's first line out of the game. Stolen by Tafai Fanua there. Jalibert, oh, not getting the greatest pass from Maxime Lucou. Having to clear this one up. Passing out towards the left. Jonathan Dante, Cyril Bai playing together. Jalon gets absolutely clattered in that challenge. And Lucou wants to go quickly. Lebel once again does Jordan Lama this time. Shut down, though, right on the five-metre line. And Ireland once again... Defending hard on this defensive line. Oh, he's just managed to get out of his own half. Oh, my goodness. They nearly had to put the ball down behind the try line. And they will do now. Managing to just get out of that danger zone, but not the second time round. First scrum of the game. And it's coming on Ireland's five-meter line. Big, big pressure here. We know the power inside this French scrum. Let's see how they get on. France look to be setting up for a big drive on this one. They pop it back now. Oh, as Aldrete says, no, we'll go quickly. I'll have a bit of room, please. Oh, it dots it down. Defence just not there. Congratulations on the opening try of this tournament. Goes to Gregory Aldrete there off the back of the scrum. Superb work. Thought they were going to go for a huge shove. Thought maybe they were going to just try and drive it over from this scrum underneath the post. But quick thinking there by Aldrete. Saw the room open up before Maxime Lukou could get back. And just dots it down right in front of Hugo Keenan. Nothing he could do about that. Maybe some slightly poor positioning by him. Jalibert then will take the first kick at post. You'd have to say odds on to get this one over. And takes France out to 7-0 at 16 minutes in. Ireland need to make a bit of a comeback here as they kick deep into the French territory. Jalibert picks it up, just wants to clear his own lines just inside the 22, doesn't find touch, has found grass, Jordan Lama got big work to do there, gets the pass away to Josh van der Fleer, was a good move there a little bit isolated, oh, went for the wide pass and France trying to make the most of it, they get the turnover and Cameron Wokey now, away Taufai Fanua, Jalon, oh, there was men outside him, couldn't get the quick hands through the middle there and Conor Murray once again clearing it up. That's why he was probably selected today, just to bring that bit of expertise to the field. As Ramos now tried to run it back, wants to clear his lines, going to put it back down towards that halfway line. It's a good clearance kick with not much angle to work with. And Ireland have opted for a three man line out here. They want to try and have men in that line. And once again, stolen by the French. The set piece for France today been absolutely brilliant as Charles Olivon crunches into the Irish defensive line. Nowhere to go there. Antonio pops it off. Ficou, Lebel thinks he sees room in that backfield. Down, Hugo Keenan though. Great positioning and clears the ball away 
is Ramos back in position. Got the win behind them as well. So the kick will go slightly further. Ramos now on the counter-attack. Talfai Fanua, Matthias Labelle managing to get back in position just in time for that pass. So not to go forwards. Charles Olivon steps in at the scrum half position. Julian Marchand on the crash ball. Gets through a bunch of defenders. Great work by him. They're going to ship it out towards the right. Fiku gets it on. Damien Pinot, one-on-one. Gets round James Lowe, but shut down by another Irish defender. Getting back for that one. And Ireland get a big turnover here. And actually have a bit of room to work with. Get the ball out wide. Oh, a little bit bunched up. Should have had a little bit of a wider spread line there. I think, oh, good take there. Missed on the, uh, on the tackle there. Ringrose managing to sort it out. And France get... Yet another turner. Maxime Lucou just wants to put them under a little bit of pressure. Put them back down that end of the field. Still only one try to talk about as of now. Jordan Lama. Oh, great interception once again by Jonathan Dante. France have been ready for that offload game all day. Jalibert wants to switch it the other way. They get it back out to LaBelle. Can he get the step around? Jordan Lama gets shut down, though by Andrew Porter getting back in position Antonio, little pop pass to Jolly Vaughan, pass it back inside, oh nearly an interception there by the Irish centre the referee says no knock on, came off the head and LaBelle once again trying to get down this wing, Josh van der Fleer with a saving tackle, LaBelle cannot get away down this wing today it has been superb work by the Irish defence, oh and Tal Pfeiffer Newell once again with the steal, you did think with Thibaut Flamon missing from this side that maybe they were going to be struggling with that line out but Tal Pfeiffer Newell has been a great bolster to this team as they go wide Damien Pinot down the wing James Lowe out of position gets the crash ball through Hugo Keenan, France are setting up here, Jalibert a little bit of a crossfield kick. Can it be recovered? Julian Marchand does get the ball. Not going anywhere there. The Irish line has set themselves back up. Maxime Lucou tries to mix it up a little bit. Goes round the back. Ships it out wide. Jalibert cannot get that pass away. France in desperation there to recover their own ball. They're looking a little bit bunched up now. Charles Olivon gets it out. Ficou just throws the loose pass, hoping it would get to LaBelle slightly too far away. And Conor Murray will clear this one. He would hopefully get it into touch and hasn't. And Ramos on the counter-attack from nowhere. Didn't think this was going to be seeing this. High ball. Who's going to be able to take it? Ireland managed to get it back. They want to play on. They've not had enough yet. Conor Murray tries to get it out through the fly half. Oh, what a great run there by Dan Sheehan, the big man on the charge. Conor Murray taking it quickly. It's all kicking off now right on this halftime whistle. Oh, my goodness. Jordan Lama had a lot to do there, went for the up and under, was very, very exposed. And now Cyril Bai gets it out. Matthias Labelle knows there's not going to be anyone back there. Hugo Keenan's done very well to recover to get back to that position. He was tied up in that defensive line. Once again, Ireland opt for the kicking clearance. Ramos has to go all the way back to his 22 and just says, no, 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 we'll kick that one off the field and go into half time. Well, what an exhilarating opening half to the Mad Dragon Six Nations 2024. Both of these teams down, key players going into this one, but they know it's a game they have to win. France, the only team to get on the scoreboard so far off the back of a piece of ingenuity by Gregory Aldreed. Ireland pinned back on their own defensive line. France winning a scrum and Aldreed picking it up off the back of the scrum, saying get out the way to his own scrum half and charging over for an early try, converted over by Jean. Ali Bear. It's the only score to talk about. Both teams have been fighting fiercely. They both want to play this open attacking rugby, but you have to say France are getting the cut of the green at the minute with some of these loose offloads going to hand. Jonathan Dante getting a couple of really nice interceptions today. It is just shutting down that Ireland defence. And as of yet, I don't really think we've been able to see Ireland build an attack, clearing their lines a little bit too often, but maybe need to keep the ball in hand a little bit more, try and put some phases together. France just need to keep up this charge. They haven't been able to get that second score right at the end of the first half we'll see how they get on in the second half on to the second half then and only one change to talk about at half time Morfana has come on for LaBelle on this wing where so far has not been able to penetrate through there is an advantage back there for a tackle it's a yellow card Josh van der Fleer has been awarded a yellow card for dangerous tackle lifting the player and just dumping Jalon onto his back how will this open up the game that is not what Ireland will have wanted to have seen so early on 
into this second half. They'll be missing a man, and this certainly gives France not only the territory, but the man advantage to spread this ball wide. They opt for the seven-man lineup. They go out to the back. Can Ireland get involved? Their set piece today hasn't been able to shut down France at all. Jalibert gets it through. Oh, Gael Ficou on the charge. Once more, Jonathan Darty out to two and five for Newer, but Ireland survive through brilliant defensive work. You could see Peno screaming for this ball out on the wing. Could not get to him. And suddenly Ramos now on the counter-attack. Oh, manages to slip past James Lowe. Well worked by Peter Omani, the captain, of course, today. Having to step in with no sexton on the field anymore. They get it out to the new boy, Mofana. Oh, couldn't pick it up off his toes. And it goes out for a line-out. Ireland are doing very well at the minute to survive this French onslaught. But that set-piece is a real issue for them. Another loose pass going there. Jonathan Dante taking it up. Fiku this time sees Pedro out on the wing. Can Hugo Keenan get back? It'll be an incredible tackle. James Lowe gets him, but Pedro scores in the corner. Such a tough run for Hugo Keenan to get back there. That extra man just making itself known in that defensive line. Little bit of a hole opening up. We've seen these French centres today have been working together well. Jonathan Darty taking the man. Fiku drawing in James Lowe there. Getting the ball out to Damien Pernod. Great run by Hugo Keenan to get back. Missing the tackle. And James Lowe unfortunately not getting as much of a grip on his man as he would want to. And now Matteo Jalibert to potentially take... France out to 14 nil, still with some time left on that yellow card. Just about sliding it through the middle of the post. 50 minutes in, half hour left on the clock. Not a great kickoff either. The wind blowing back towards them. Harry Burns got pinged for that one. Maybe thinking about that first half where they had the wind behind them. It's now against them. Got to kick it further down towards the French half. I think this is the second scrum of the game. And of course, off the back of that first one, France came away with one try. Ireland need to get this set piece working. Let's see how they can do at this scrum. Maxime Lucou goes in, puts the ball in. France drop it back. They go back. Maxime Lucou's eyeing up the space and hits the gap in between. Two defenders got Jalibert out on the inside of him. Oh, Jalibert dodging defenders left and right here. Can they make the most of the room that is opening up? They spread it out wide. Jonathan Darnty, no one with him, though. Unfortunately, that line, a little bit bunched up for what they would have wanted to go on that widespread attack. Antonio gets it out. Julian Marchand, oh, throws a bit of a loose pass. And suddenly Ireland now on the charge. Got the opportunity maybe for a counter-attack. Josh van der Fleer is back onto the field. They have got all their men back on. Oh, there's a breakaway. Ramos having to get back in position here. What a great break there by Bundyaki hitting the gap. And suddenly France on the back foot just trying to reorganize their line. They go out wide. Oh, what a great tackle that was there. Coming in from Aldrich, the try scorer earlier on in this game as they smash their way through. Jordan Lama still going. Fiku has to recover. Oh, Oh, and Ireland are moving their way up the field. This is what we've been wanting to see all game. Put some phases together as Tyke Furlong now bashing through the tackles. They're up into the 22. The French defensive line not looking very well set. They try to go through James Ryan this time. Not making a lot of ground on that carry. They go once again. Josh van der Fleer now back on the field. The defensive captain of Gael Ficou smashing his way up though as James Lowe does a little spin. Still going. Defenders just cannot shut this boy down. Ireland still putting pressure on this line. Oh, they went for the interception and suddenly they're through. Can he get there? All the way. Oh, well, what a try by Kalen Doris. Managing to get underneath the post. The number eight had some tough work to do there. I think Cyril Bai ran in for that interception line, not managing to get the ball. And France just kept going backwards, carry after carry. Here was the interception run. Oh, it was Julian Marchand tried to go for that interception, left the man overlap, and Ramos really needed to do better from there. Nobody getting back. And Kalen Doris runs underneath the post to make this game open up a little bit as Harry Byrne will step up and takes us to 14 points to seven. This game is back on, ladies and gentlemen. We have been waiting all game for Ireland to suddenly get going. And all it took was one breakaway by Bundyaki to open up the space and put France on the back foot as France now pin Ireland all the way back in their 22. Conor Murray wants to clear their lines, keeping it on the field. Maybe they're seeing that the French fatigue is beginning to kick in now as Ramos or oh, cannot outrun. Superb run there by James Ryan. Tough for a big man to chase down as Mofana suddenly in a little bit of room takes the grubber kick on. Hugo Keenan doing well to pick that one up on the bounce. Great work by the Irish fullback. 
And Ireland once again go for yet another clearance. This one is drawing right near that 22. The referee says it was fine. I did wonder if it had been brought back inside the 22. And we're back in the French half. Now all they need to do is start punishing this French set piece. They don't manage it. And Gael Ficou mixes it up a little bit this time. Goes for the up and under. Goes for the big crash ball. Tangle on Hugo Keenan. Doesn't manage to come off. Thought there was going to be a massive collision there. But France have come away with a turnover here. They're letting their line set up a little bit. Time is on their side. Jalibert, though, getting wrapped up. Ireland tried to rush him. The defence for Ireland, though, a little bit bunched up. Out to Mofana. Out on this wing again. Gets round. Jordan Lama manages to get round another tackle by Hugo Keenan. They are still pushing hard. Ireland looking awfully bunched up at the minute. Jonathan Dante says, let's go for a crossfield kick. Not going to work out for them. And Ireland clear their lines. Only two minutes left on the clock, though. Maybe not the move to have done as Ramos takes it up. Taufai for Nua now. Crashing the ball up. Have they got room? Out on that wing as Mofana takes it. Goes for the up and under. Oh, the wind has just taken it away from him. Goes into touch. But just as the clock turned red, and that will be the final action of the game. France taking this one. 14 points to 7. Ireland come away with a losing bonus point. But how important will this fixture be when it comes round to the end of the tournament? Do we think this will be a realistic score we could see in the actual game going on this weekend? Hope you all enjoyed this one today, guys. If you have, make sure to leave this video a like and be sure to stay tuned for all the rest of the games going on in the Mad Dragon Six Nations this week. I'll see you all next time, guys. Bye-bye.